Shut up. <laughs> so I'm super excited to talk today because you are introducing something that's pretty new. This is kind of the first time we're getting to take a look at this. So tell me a little bit more. What are we talking about today? Yeah, sure. So um, we are going to be introducing the first really Sharp branded but jointly developed from the NEC and Sharp side um, product product family. Um, and so um, that is going to be the next iteration of our uh, really, it's going to build on our message series that, you know, um, Gary and Gary and I did a launch and learn for the message series a couple years ago. And uh, this is really building upon that with the next iteration of that product line. So um, yeah, I'm here to kind of talk through it, um, what our thought process was, where it kind of is going to sit in the market and just some, some cool new features and functionality that we're going to be putting into, or I guess out there uh, here in the next couple months. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. I know you have some slides that you want to join, which is really good. So we'll I do visual yeah. as well. Yeah. So I yeah, think... tell me, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at. Yeah. So right now um, we're looking at our, our overall large format portfolio. Um, this is really just from 32 inch to, to 65 inch. We have a separate sort of larger size portfolio as well. But um, really, this is how everything lines up right now. Um, it kind of goes from we kind of have a valid sort of step up, step down approach dependent on the application that the product's going into, the needs of the customer and so forth, um, you know, runtime brightness and everything like that. And, you know, where I wanted to focus in on is that message series which is really sort of the, the meat and potatoes of the, the volume driving product out there. And what we're doing now is we're, it's going to be a stepped approach, but we are going to, I think that changed here. We are going to be focusing in on the next iteration uh, ME series product, okay. um, which is really targeted towards the, like I said, the volume driving portion of the business that focuses on uh, non 24 uh, seven digital signage needs. Um, it's it's really going to we had a lot of a lot of sort of pillars that we had in mind. I like to talk about sort of what we built the product on, what was the thought process behind the, behind, behind the design and everything like that. And um, here, actually, let me switch slides here. Sorry about that. Okay. I thought no, I was on the next slide. Yeah, so um, not a lot of words on this slide, but I kind of wanted to talk about the design concept here because, um, you know, the first thing that, that we had to do was uh, when, when bringing together the, the two companies was um, really put uh, and main, make sure that there is a focus on, you know, maintaining our, our proven quality and, and reliability. Um, this was number one. Um, like I said, we knew this was going to be the first product to come out that through the joint venture that had involvement from both the NEC and the sharp sides from an R&D and a planning perspective. Um, so we knew we had to do it right. Uh, so we really took a look at, you know, what and where each brand was successful and why they were successful. And then we wanted to, to build upon that. So, um, you know, quite the undertaking because, yeah. you know, you, you bring two two separate uh, two separate companies together and two separate product lines and you kind of find some common ground but you have to also maintain um, really the, the really what what both companies were, were known for and and you know from a feature functionality perspective um, so yeah the first thing was make sure the quality of the new product was on point and and really what we've been known for um, things like a uh, full metal chassis from the NEC side uh, rugged type of design um, even bezel aesthetics. Um, maintaining things as simple as control protocol compatibility. So, you know, when, when two companies took them together, there's many control systems out there that use our control protocols for coming mm -hmm. into a room, pushing a button and turning on your screen. Um, well, you know, uh, the, the NEC side and the Sharp side were, were different. So yeah. um, these products are, are very unique in that they're actually going to be able to support both, which is quite cool because when it comes to replacements or anything like that, um, you know, this product line is going to be able to slip into any build out there that's using either Sharp or or NEC type of design. Um, carrying, you know, simple things like carrying handles, you know, that's yeah. that's something that's, you know, we, we actually uh, removed in the past, I'm sorry, coming from the NEC side, which that was a big no-no, but um, we, we added them back because of, uh, you know, the pain points that people have when it comes to putting units on the wall, you know, something as simple as that. Um, and then, of course, a lot of the features and functionality that customers are already, already uh, accustomed to using, um, sort of, I started at the top. They're going around the right side, though. Um, visual excellence, you know, that's that's sort of that's kind of a one A 1A or one B, I guess, if the reliability and quality was was one A. Um, you know, digital signage content is only as good as the panel that's being used, and, and quite frankly, the opposite is is quite true as well. You know, the the panels only be 
as good as the content that's being pushed to it. So uh, we knew we couldn't uh, skimp on the quality of the image um, that was being shown on this product on this on this product line. Um, and so taking some pain points from the uh, last iteration, the MEXX1, um, we've really implemented implemented some some new features that um, better position us um, with this product line going forward. So stuff like um, a, a little bit brighter panel than the last iteration of products, um, high haze, which is really low reflectivity, so that the content can really be seen when there's more incidental light that's bouncing off things. Um, you know, because uh, people invest in these screens and they want to make sure that the content they're putting out there is is easily to be you know easily seen to, amongst yeah. the masses. Um, Ease of use and flexibility, so uh, landscape, portrait orientation, stuff like that. Uh, out of the box video playback, easy video playback control, um, with a really integrated high-end media player, um, and that that has to do with the the next one, which is a, a flexible system on a chip platform. Um, which coming from the NEC side, we we really haven't had uh, in the past. We've had the uh, SOC via the Raspberry Pi with some of our our higher end panels. Um, this is going to be integrated, so. You know, just like other SOC, um, all components that would otherwise be separate are contained in a single chipset, um, you know, CPU, memory, storage, GPU, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and we moved to this design for that uh, sort of integrated high-end media playback capability that um, that we wanted to offer So for, for this sort of out-of-the-box functionality. Um, it also allows us to do um, quite a few things uh, from an aesthetical purpose, um, so or an aesthetics purpose. So, uh, you know, NEC, coming from the NEC side, we've really been known, um, you know, we've had the sort of same type of OS, simple, something as simple as the on-screen display design for a long time. We're really able to uh, give that quite the facelift, which um, is, is is pretty uh, exciting. Uh, I know yeah. it's just, uh, you know, changing uh, some settings here and there, but um, it, it, we really wanted to, to make sure that um, not only the image on the screen, mechanical design of the product look pretty, but also, you know, when you're actually making, manipulating the product as well. Um, and then also with this uh, flexible system on the chip design, we're working with a number of uh, partners, content management partners, um, for integration within our new system. So uh, if customers have a partner that they're already accustomed to using, uh, we can hopefully be able to work with them to be able to support them um, really for onboarding onto yeah. the new product line as well. Uh, and then obviously, you know, as with every iteration of product, um, we wanted to update to the newest standard. So uh, this product line has, um, you know, from, a, for example, like three HDMI 2.0s, but there's also a USB-C connection on there that can support DP alt mode. Um, and then uh, one other thing is that the, the LAN connection on here is now gig speeds, which is, uh, I think, a, a real big improvement from what we've had in the past. And, you know, all of that, you know, I, I kind of like talking about pillars of design you know that's really what we built built upon and um from that is going to become the sharp multi-sync the mexx2s um Very cool. notice how i said multi-sync um you know for 35 years the multi-sync brand has been synonymous with high quality and reliability through um nec monitors going backwards you know longer than than i've, I've been working on the nec side and um that mark is going to be uh, maintained really moving forward with the sharp branded large formats as well yeah. um so it's it's really an exciting time and um we're, we're very much looking forward to introducing uh this product line um to the market here uh in a, in, a, in a month or two so that's awesome can you yeah. talk a little bit about like speak to what that collaboration was like because i know like you know sharp nec has existed the way it is with both companies you know for a few years now but like you said this is kind of the first product line that's really really leveraging both at the same time yeah yeah so um you know it's when you're bringing two companies together there's obviously you know two different r d teams two different firmware teams two different everything um so you know the first thing to do is to is to find common ground and and really figure out where where each company excels and and make sure that you you maintain that type of functionality um and and really build up from there and and really leverage where the nec side excelled and where the sharp side excelled and and come together to, to make an even better product than either company was able to to produce in the past and um you know that's that's what's really exciting about this, and what's really exciting about this whole thing is that, um, you know, it, it it gives it gives us the opportunity to kind of uh, extend our reach a, a little bit and and bring um, better and more aligned products for for what the market is is really um, asking for, and and you know, hopefully that's going to be able to create some solutions that uh, customers are needing for their installations. Yeah, and did you want to hit like key specs a little bit? 
Yeah, you know, I, I think I, I'm going to skip one slide. Sorry, I, okay. uh, let me do this one. That was just based on applications. I kind of talked through that. You know, the main sort of application that we had in mind with this is is really digital signage. So you got that uh, either advertising or informational type of approach. Um, key specifications here. I mean, I don't want to talk too much on this, but... Um, you know, this is going to sit really in that mainstream sort of brightness level. So it's going to be 400 plus nits, um, 400 to 450, dependent on size, um, which is an improvement from the last one, which is for the MEXX1s, which are 400. There's high haze, which is a 25% haze panel across the board here, which is exciting. That's, uh, again, a pain point. We had more of a glossier surface on the... Um, other ones, uh, the, the previous iteration, but um, you know that that's something that we've improved this time around. I kind of talked through the connectivity or anything. Uh, we've removed, you know, we've had a modular approach um, before with the MEXX1s. We actually removed that because we're integrating the SOC. Um, what that allows us to do, and quite frankly, you know, the integrated SDM uh, or OPS or Raspberry Pi that we've had in the past for this sort of level of product, um, really didn't make as much sense as far as, um, you know, as opposed to that being on the higher end product where people can integrate other peripherals dependent on what their um, application and needs. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, from other additional features, like it's an Android based 13, an Android 13 based OS, um, you know, we're still maintaining things like uh, input to tech functionality. I said we're supporting the NEC and Sharp protocol. Mm -hmm. um, there's a wireless LAN option on here, which we haven't had before in the past. And there's really just, again, we kind of took the best of both worlds and we're bringing a better product to market than we've ever been able to bring in the past. Um, sorry, I see the time. We're already running out. But um, one other thing is that I kind of want to show some images. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is, like I said, the first Sharp branded product, but it's going to look very similar to uh, a lot of the, the NEC screens in the past, um, you know, where we have the nice even bezel design, um, the full metal chassis here. We maintain the same button type of approach that we have on the side in case someone misplaces the remote. Um, we have the uh, connectivity that's on the side right there. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, these slides, you know, we're kind of on the, <laughs> you can see it on the last slide that I briefly went through. And then that new OSD design, I took a snapshot of that just uh, yesterday through some testing on my own, um, just to kind of show that uh, it's going to be a bit more of a, a nice aesthetic approach. But, you know, we're really excited to bring this market. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity. Um, and I think that it's, um, you know, it's going to really prove itself out there to be um, really a, a really big success. Uh, the first of many successes with this joint venture as far as new products go. That's awesome. And you had said that by end of year, you'd have more information on availability and everything like that, right? Yeah. So uh, I didn't say that yet, but yes, uh, our, our intention right now Sorry. is to uh, have, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Our intention right now is to um, actually announce uh, in December um, the, uh, there's going to be a staggered approach for when um, the sizes come in. So it's, I didn't even mention this before, but it's 43, 50, 55, and 65. Um, the 55 inch will hopefully be available towards the end of the calendar year and the others really right after that. So in, in, in early to, to late January. So um, yeah, we're going to start shipping these soon. There's going to be a lot more information that's going to come from this um, here awesome. in the next couple of months. And, you know, we're really excited to, to get this out there. Yeah, that's awesome. And last question I have for you, Ben, is where can people find you if they wanted to, you know, ask any questions or, you know, wanted any more information or anything like that? Yeah, sure. So um, LinkedIn, um, Ben Hardy, you know, there's a, a couple of Ben Hardys out there. One of them's an actor. That's not me. But um, <laughs> and then uh, my email is Benjamin.Hardy at SharpUSA.com. And that is different than it's been in the past um, because it was NEC display and then it was Sharp NEC display. So now it's SharpUSA.com. And then um, obviously our website is uh, SharpNECDisplays.us. So Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to show us all of the new line. That's the, I'm so excited for you guys. Thank you so much, Steph. It's always a pleasure and great to see you not out, you know, going to dinner. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. All right. 